seconds after these passengers step off a King County Metro bus. Masked gunmen pile out of the Cedar Point apartments at 640 on Sunday morning. We were expecting going, uh, going to church, but everything was blocked. This woman, who wants to remain anonymous, says after gunfire woke up her family, she went to check on her neighbor, also a mother, who was closer to the violence. I had a talk to the person that had received three bullets in her apartment, two on the kids' bedroom and one in the living room that threw, uh, passed through the ceiling from the kitchen. Auburn police say this bus route along M Street Southeast was caught in what appeared to be a planned ambush, leaving at least five victims, among them one adult and three under the age of 18. Police say one of the victims was armed and fired back at the masked gunman. Madela Orta Zanaya says, at first, we thought they were fireworks, but they were too loud to be fireworks. A chaotic morning that had investigators recovering nearly 100 shell casings. She says there's too much crime around us. We've lived in these apartments since 1990. It's never been this bad before. In 1990. Leaving Anaya and those living nearby uneasy with the neighborhood they call home. We don't know what to expect. We don't know if we're going to be alive the next morning.